down. Only we'll make sure he's faster to remember my fucking Outstanding. Hi there, guys. Pemby66 here. Now, have you ever wondered about um, making that video in your chosen editing suite? In my case, it's Sony Vegas Pro 13. And thought, well, this file's a little bit too big. What if I could really cut the file size in by more than half and not lose a single iota of quality in, you know, the, the way the video looks? And this that's what this video is all about. It's a video program I found called Handbrake. I mean, pro probably a lot of people have heard of it. This is a basic interface. Now, if you were to get Handbrake, all I would do, personally, is this. Handbrake, open source video transcoder. Download Handbrake 0 0.0, sorry, 0.9.9. .9. Okay, now to prove that this is not a virus or anything like that, I've got the uh, installer. Where's the installer? There we go, here we go. <coughs> Excuse me a minute. There it is, Handbrake, you can see it there. There's the installer. Right click it. Right click, what are you doing? There we go. Scan. Bear with me a minute. I'll do this just to show you. It's, it's not, nothing dodgy. There we go. Nice clean program. No dirty little hacking turd has got this one. Right. Now what you do, it's like in this folder here, as you can see, Cock versus Dillashaw. That's my online created fight to Mr. One Big Cock in UFC game. The EA's UFC against the uh, one and only TJ Dillashaw. Now you can see two versions of the video. Right? You've got the 3.32 gigabytes is which which is what's been these actually direct captures from the capture card, the Ava Media. Uh, live game of portable. It's captured at 30 megabytes a second, 30 frames a second because it's 1080p. Um, but this file is the same video, but look at the difference in size. Same here, Cox Title Shop, 1.90, that was in the uh, the career mode. And this one is the same video, 349 megabytes. Bit of a difference. Um, basically, the way to do it is all I do is click this. You click the source, open the file, and then here, you type in a name, you can type in the same name, but type in the name for your file, click browse to where you want it to go, I put it on my desktop, and um, you click on start. That's all I change is web optimized. And you find, once you've done that, your, um, your captures are a hell of a lot smaller, and when it comes to uploading to YouTube, you can fit in a lot more uploads during the day, you know? See, so if you've got slow internet like me, you know, it's a godsend. But, uh, you know, if you want to produce, if you produce quite a lot of videos for YouTube, but find you've only got time in a day to do one, maybe two videos, this will this will uh, more than quadruple that, you know, with the difference in the file sizes. Let's turn that off. Um, I'm not going to play the videos because they'll play really slow and fucked up because my computer is not that fast while recording the screen. But anyway, any questions, i will be delighted to uh, answer you. And uh, try it yourself. It's called Handbrake, and the file sizes. The thing is, the thing is, before I go, if you go through Sony Vegas and you and you like your video, it's got all the effects on it, all the brightness, contrast, sharpness, whatever you put on it, and you don't like the only thing you don't like is the file size. Then run it through Handbrake, and I guarantee you this: just by clicking that web optimized it will be more than half the size and then I mean, my latest videos to YouTube, my last three or four videos have all been through Handbrake and if there's anybody who, who's used to watching my videos sees a quality loss then I doubt whether they're going to see that you know because uh, I'm confident it looks good and you will be too so give it a try thanks for watching